Good morning. I have finally escaped the big city of Colombo and I'm now on my way to the beautiful central highlands of Sri Lanka. So the journey is seven and a half hours. The ticket price is 600 rupees. But the view, oh that's a million bucks isn't it? Have a look, have a look at this. Five zero for one piece. Yeah. Okay, give me three piece, please. Three hundred. Huh? Six piece. I say three piece. Three piece. Yes, I say three piece. Two hundred. What? Two hundred. It's four piece. I asked for three piece. One, two, three. Okay, thank you. Chancer. Uh, so where I'm heading to is called Ohia. It's a tiny village next to the Horton Plains National Park. Here's my plan. I'm actually going to get off this train one stop early at Patipola Station and I'm going to hike along the railway tracks to my final destination. That is the plan. Just jumped off this train. Is there a bathroom in this station? Bathroom in this station. Over here, huh? Next door, okay, thank you. This is gonna be fun. Which one do I choose? Ah, oh, okay. The glamour of international travel. Your man's bursting for a dump. This door doesn't even lock. That's ridiculous. Just use the cleaner's disinfectant there to wash your hands. <laughs> oh God, that was not a good experience. Right, let's go. Nobody around, just people in their wee houses and their wee farms, chilling. I walk along these railway tracks and in Sri Lanka hiking along the railway tracks is fantastic you can't get lost as long as you follow the railway tracks you can't get lost you might get run over by a train right enough but that's fairly unlikely considering how few trains there are in Sri Lanka you have to wait like two or three hours for a train so uh, pretty much no chance at least in this direction there's not another one for a couple of hours we might see one coming through that way which will be pretty cool actually just to like get a wee video of it coming on head on wave to, wave to the people did that the last time I did a railway hike in Sri Lanka about a year and a half ago just high-fiving people out the window and stuff fantastic so yeah today the train ride seven and a half hours doesn't feel like seven and a half hours why it's one of the most scenic train rides in the world this uh, ride from um, Colombo through Kandy through Nuwara Aliyah to, to Ella. So I'm kind of between Nuwara Aliyah and Ella right now. Uh, I did this I did this journey in reverse last year and uh, it was fantastic. You're just going through fields, uh, rolling green hills everywhere, tea plantations, you're going through little villages, there's waterfalls, people carrying uh, logs on their heads, all sorts of stuff going on. Hello, good afternoon, how are you? Friendly people. See, that's it. When you come to places where tourists aren't normally coming, everyone wants to wave at you and smell at you. It's not like you're in candy or something like that and you go to some shop where the owner's dealing with arsehole tourists all day and is just fed up with them. You know, they charge you a higher price, uh, they don't even smile. Uh, you, you come to just random places. And people are just happy to see you. They're like, whoa, what's this ghost-faced, pale, milk-white, Scottish fella doing holding a GoPro, walking down the train tracks in our village? What's he doing? Give him a wee wave. Hello, good afternoon, how are you? See, I love it, I love it. Just stop to take in how quiet it is. Not a bloody sound other than the trees gently bristling in the slight breeze which is cooling me down right now this is fantastic oh yeah so after the train left i was the last person on the train platform and you had one tuk-tuk driver just sitting there with his tuk-tuk looking at me like that's my ride he's nowhere else to go and i just walked past him 
And <laughs> to his surprise, I don't need a tuk-tuk. I've got my two legs here. They're strong. So, railway hiking. Who does that? I was just thinking about the fact that I travel a lot on my own. And, you know, if I was traveling with someone else, and we'd just done seven and a half hours on a train, and I said, hey mate, you know what would be a good idea? Let's just jump off the train. A station early and hike for an hour. They'd be like, I do one deal, you dafty. No doing that. But because I'm on my own, I can do what I want, you know? YOLO YOLO. I like to travel solo. I can do what I want. And if I want to talk to somebody, I just pull out the GoPro and talk to you guys. Fantastic. Okay, so it's been about five minutes and I'm already starting to feel the heat. So glasses need to get on the fake. Where is it? Surely that's not falling out. There we are. The fake Under Armour cap. It served me well so far this trip. This cap, cheapest chips, 500 rupees. Like two quid, three dollars. Has served me so well. Yesterday in Gaul, stopping me from getting absolutely sunburnt. Did get a little bit sunburnt. Right. Just realised, didn't bring any water with me. And uh, it's not like there's a 7-Eleven anywhere nearby so uh yeah might die of thirst i'm thinking if i happen to stop by some wee house maybe ask them for a wee glass of water see what they say problem is there though they might uh just give me the tap water in fact obviously like wee villages here in the houses they're not going and buying bottles of mineral water from the supermarket they're using the tap water and uh tap water in sri lanka is no safe i had a drink yesterday in Gaul, and i'm pretty sure the guy made it with tap water Maybe about an hour later, I was getting a bit of a jippy tummy and uh, I wasn't feeling that great la last night, so I didn't even have a proper meal last night, but I'm uh, feeling grand today, especially after that dump in the station. Feeling feeling like a million bucks, so uh, yeah, I don't know what to do about the thirst situation. Uh, to be honest with you, just, just going to just gonna have to harden up, put up with it. Here we go, we've got some information signs here. Summit level. 1,898 metres. That's for quite high now. Right now the temperature is only like 22, 23 degrees compared to Colombo where it was like 33, 34. Uh, there's the number in feet for any Americans that happen to be watching. Right, uh, we're 224 kilometres from Colombo. So that's what seven and a half hours on a train gets you. Not very fast, is it? Uh, probably you'd about the same by, by road. Maybe you'd be you'd be lucky if it was an hour, an hour quicker by road, to be honest. Uh, nothing. Nothing moves fast in Colombo, in uh, Sri Lanka. Uh, it looks like quite a wee country on the map when you look at it. But from to get from one end to the other, you're talking like a day's travelling time. But hey, you can make the use of that travelling time. It doesn't have to be a day wasted. Like you travel by train, you see the beautiful views, and then you have a wee hike around the railway track. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, you might fly past that on the train and say, that's nice. But can you stop? and just stand there and take in a breath of fresh air and just, and just love it <sighs> fantastic just take a moment to appreciate that right, let me go well this would be a bad time for the train to start coming in the opposite direction because pretty narrow here, not much room to the sides, and we're going to have to go through, it seems, a dark, pitch dark by the looks of it, narrow tunnel, uh, which hopefully has some space at the side, otherwise if I hear a train, I'm running back the way I came, <laughs> pretty fast, on these, uh, on these baller things. What's it saying? This tunnel collapsed in January 1951. I'm not standing still because there's mosquitoes with this bloody stagnant water. Tunnel collapsed January 1951. Permanent repairs were completed in 1981. Hopefully they did a good repair. Actually, this is pitch black. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna use my flashlight, my phone. Hopefully I've got battery. I thought I heard a train coming. That's just the echo of my voice. Right, it's about to get pitch dark. So, who would be scared doing this? I'm not really scared. I'm just concerned about a train coming. That's all. But I think I would just have to dive into that water at the side and lean against the wall. I'd probably be alright. So. Now I'm not scared at all. Right, flashlight. Let's see how much. That's nothing. 
I mean, that's barely making a difference. Okay, I'm just going to go as quickly as possible. Let's get through this. If I die in here, maybe in a thousand years, somebody will find this GoPro and actually they'll actually figure out what happened to me. And they can tell my, my ancestors, well, I won't have any ancestors, I don't have kids. This is ridiculous. So I've got the ISO set to 6,000. That's bats. Oh, you're fucking now. I'm scared, right? I've got the ISO set to 6,400. So maybe you can pick up some bit of light, but I can, I can see nothing. I can see back that way. That's where it came from here. Absolutely nothing. So I'm just focusing the flashlight on the ground, trying to ignore the sound of the bats. Trying to be a little bit quiet so I can hear if a train is coming. And well, I'm committed now, aren't I? I'm committed. What am I going to do? Go back and wait three hours for the next train? What's that water? God, I can't see anything. This is scary. This must be a corner. It must go around a corner or something because there's no light at the end of the tunnel. Literally. Not just the saying. There is no light at the end of the tunnel. Right here. Oh, come on. Oh, stuff's dripping on me. Oh, my fantastic Under Armour hat getting dripped on by grubby railway tunnel water. There's the light. Not at the end of the tunnel, but the start of the tunnel. Come on, hopefully there's a corner here soon. I literally can't see more than like three metres in front of me. Right. Come on, let's just do this fast. I'm not really enjoying this part of the hike. I should have maybe researched this before I did it to see if this is a thing that anybody does do this hike and if it's a legit thing. Oh, it's getting slippy as well. I can hear bats. Oh, f if I get bitten. Not another time I have to get the rabies injections. I'll probably, it was only like nine months ago I had to get the rabies injections after I got bitten by the stray dog in India. So hopefully the vaccine is still doing me good if I do get bitten by a rabid bat, I won't die of rabies. But you can hear them, there's loads of them. This must be where they're living. Oh, that's the way back. Listen, there's There's loads. Well, this bit is pretty flat. Going down the middle of the track now. Come on. Oh, I can start to see light. There is light. Where should I walk? On here. Yes, I'm seeing light. Hopefully it's not the headlights of the bloody train that's coming head on. That would be bad. Oh God, these bloody bats. Giving me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, here's the light at the end of the tunnel. See guys. That's, you just have to have faith. And look, the light is at the end of the tunnel. We're almost home free. Here we go. We're not gonna die today. We're gonna live until tomorrow so we can hike world's end. The world's gonna end tomorrow when we do a hike, not today. <laughs> oh, here it is. Some beautiful sunlight. Oh, that bat sounds like he wants to have something to bite, right? I'm Stunt at run now. A wee skip. How's the stabilization on the GoPro, huh? Trying to, trying to take my mind off it. Oh, it's all full of shit here. Oh, here we go. That's it. Light at the end of the tunnel. I'm feeling good about it now. Now, you see, that's not too bad. If I knew it was only this length, I wouldn't have been uh, worried about it at all. I would have just manned up and did it. But let me know in the comments who would have done that? <laughs> who would have seen that dark tunnel and just turned around and waited for uh, like three hours for the train? And who would have manned up or womaned up? There's a lot of strong women watching these videos. Look at this. And are we going to be rewarded? Are we going to be rewarded by a beautiful view? Yes, we are. Look at this. Fantastic. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious me. Have a look at that. Oh. That is wonderful. <sighs> I can hear something rumbling. Can you hear that? Maybe that's the train coming. Oh my God. You guess what? It is the train, so I'm gonna have to jump to the side. 
Oh, we, <laughs> how lucky did I get that I wasn't in that bloody tunnel right there, right? So now we got the, the we got rewarded by 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 running because of the bloody bats. Here comes the train, and there's another tunnel. That's the only thing. There's another tunnel, but at least there's no more trains. There's not going to be a, another train in either direction, so I don't have to worry about that. Right, let's have a wave to the people on the train. I wonder if I can high five. I'll get my left hand free. Give a, get a good wave to the people on the train. There we go. Beep, beep. Oh, hello. 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 There we go. Brilliant. That's it. No need to worry about trains anymore. You just worry about taking in these beautiful views of this beautiful Sri Lankan countryside. What a country this is, really. If anyone hasn't visited Sri Lanka, get your arse here now. Cheapest chips and look what you get. I mean, if you want to do a railway hike. Well, you could just be on that train and just hanging out the window and see this. So you don't have to be a nutcase like me. So this is uh, 20 kilometers an hour. That's how fast trains are going. I think the maximum is like 40 kilometers an hour. So it's a nice, nice leisurely train for people, for people that are not in a hurry. And uh, tourists, I wouldn't like to be somebody who depended on the train for like commuting or something. Just say you lived in the center and uh, you worked in Colombo like five days a week and you had to go home at the weekends. And every, every weekend it was like a seven and a half hour journey there and a seven and a half hour journey back. Whereas, you know, like in another country like Japan, it might be an hour on those super bullet trains or something, you know? Uh, yeah. This worried now about this other tunnel that uh, I have to get through. I mean, not worried about the trains, obviously, but just worried about the bats. Just, just something about something that can kill you with its rabid bite that uh, kind, of, kind of worries me, but, you know, I've got the vaccine, so should be sound, right? Let's let's go through. Oh, look at this! It's an easy one. Ah, we're coasting. We're coasting now. Brilliant. It looks like the reason these stone blocks are here, they're maybe going to replace the wooden ones with the stone ones. Maybe then they'll be able to make the train go faster. Just making assumptions. I think that's what it is. Because they're everywhere, all the way down here. Right, I just noticed a wee hut up there. I'm wondering if there's anybody inside. And if there is, I wonder if they've got any water that they could share with a thirsty Scotsman. Let's see. No, oh, empty. But it looks like somebody has been having a wee bonfire there. Maybe somebody's been having a wee sleep because they've put the cardboard down. But hey, if anybody does want to do this trek from Patipola to Ohia. There's a wee place you could sit and have a wee picnic or a wee bite to eat or a sandwich that you pack. Good advice, huh? Okay, another tunnel. This one has a light at the end and it also has what appears to be a person. Is this person a mass murderer? Is this person a fellow hiker? Is this person someone who wants to steal my wallet for the two months worth of Sri Lankan wages that are inside? Who knows? Seems better prepared than me. They have a flashlight and they do appear to be walking in my direction. Probably a local. Probably taking a shortcut. Probably hears everything I'm saying right now because of the echo. Okay, time for that flashlight again. Good afternoon. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Pleased to meet you. Okay, friendly. No danger. Right. Let's turn this off. Right. I've noticed the sun hasn't been out for a wee while. That's starting to concern me because I haven't brought anything waterproof with me on this trip. My bag is absolutely packed, as you may be able to see. 
that's all I've brought with me, trying to travel light. I wouldn't be able to do stuff like this if I brought, if I brought a bloody suitcase, would I? Or even one of those massive backpackers that you see backpackers uh, wearing. But this, 30 litre, nice and comfortable, Columbia bag, with all the, all the, all the padding and all that. No chafing going on, nothing. Just feels super comfortable. Feels like feels like nothing. Feels like I have been working my traps a bit in the gym. It feels like nothing. <laughs> really, it feels like nothing. So uh yeah. I might do this again for like a one week or a two week trip. Don't think I'd do it for like a one month, two month, three month trip though. I'd want like for example here, my hotel in Colombo, nice hotel, the Scottish hotel, that uh that had a gym in it, but I didn't bring my gym shoes. And my shoes yesterday were all wet and I accidentally stepped in the water at the beach. So what's a man to do when you only bring one pair of shoes? Of course, I dried my shoes off with the air conditioner. Uh, that's another story. In fact, it was an Instagram story I put out. What do you do when the one pair of shoes you brought with you got absolutely soaked today? You're checking out the hotel in five hours and the bloody hairdryer doesn't work in the bathroom. That's what you do. You use the air conditioner, insoles up there drying out nicely. And uh, yeah, I just want to have other stuff to make my life more comfortable. If I was traveling for a few months, I'd want to be using the gyms and the hotels regularly and stuff like that, uh, keep up my fitness. Uh, although I guess what I'm doing now is definitely keeping up my bloody fitness. Uh, you know, I'd want to bring my laptop, I'd want to bring uh, probably like external hard drive and all, all, the, all the bits and pieces. I might even want to bring my Xbox controller to play some games on my laptop. All, all the little things that make uh, traveling more comfortable for me, uh, I'd want to bring with me. Hmm, I wonder what that building is just randomly in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, I've noticed this big mountain up there and I'm wondering if that's where I'm going hiking tomorrow. I wonder if that's World's End in Horton's Plain. I don't know. Uh, I don't see anything else higher than that around. So I'm guessing that'll be it. So the town that I'm supposed to be staying in tonight is right next to that mountain or is right next to the entrance to the national park to what leads to that mountain. So surely not that much further away than this. Eight kilometers per hour. That's really slow. I can walk faster than that. Well, not on these train tracks, I can't. Let's see if I can or not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No. I don't think that's quite eight kilometers an hour. And the reason it's slow at this part of the train track is a bridge. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to cross that. Right, looks safe enough actually. It's not some shaky wooden bridge. Doesn't look dangerous for a guy to, oh, okay. These, uh, these bars bend when I put my feet on it, but I'm pretty sure uh, they wouldn't make this unsafe, would they? Look at that, there's a nice wee waterfall down there as well. Right, this is not unsafe at all. I'm saying to myself, as I walk across, if I, if I was committed at finishing this trek at the dark tunnel, I'm definitely committed an hour later now. Oh, what is this? Is that gaps in between? Oh, that's fine. I thought that was like stepping stones between like gaps to a straight drop down. I was gonna be like, oh, that's a wee bit dodgy. I still would have done it like, look, it's, it's, it's not that hard. But uh, it would have been a wee bit dodgy. Right, down there, waterfall. Nice. I'd love to just chill in there, just sit in there. Cool down a bit. In fact, I don't really need to cool down. Look, not even sweating. Not even a sweaty Scotsman. No sweat on this brow. I would say the, the temperature right now, it might be like 18 degrees or something like that. I'm definitely not standing still. Even I stood still a wee bit there and I got bitten by a mosquito on my hand. I just felt it. Your man's allergic to mosquitoes, got to take the antihistamines as soon as I find some water. Otherwise, be coming out in all sorts of red bumps tonight. And here we are, oh here, oh here, railway station. I wonder if these people are going to be surprised to see me. I wonder if they're going to be like, where did that ghost-faced fella come from? Is that a ghost? Come to haunt us? No. It's just a Scotsman who was hiking on your railway tracks and he had a good old time. He enjoyed it. Oh, it was good exercise, some good scenery, a wee bit of excitement in the tunnels. <sighs> okay, I'm here. Looks like there's maybe a wee shop here. 
selling drinks. I could do with one. I'm parched. Somebody's shouting at me. I don't know what he wants. I don't know. I don't want or need anything. So I'm just having a wee look. Oh, this is a restaurant. Looks like they're closed. Oh, he needs a wee drink. Nobody here. Whose restaurant is this? Somebody has a wee fire in the back. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Just want a wee drink. What do you have? What do you have in here? Cream soda. Have Coca Cola? No Coca Cola. What do you have? Okay, I'm going to have uh, mango. What? Coca Cola, this? You not have? How are you? I just want a wee drink. Uh, how much are the mangoes? This? 60. 60, okay. I take a mango and an orange. Okay. Lovely. Oh, that's going to be nice. Bit of refreshment. One in the pocket, one in the mouth. Hello? Hi, how are you? Are you good? Up this way. This way. Uh, up this way. Okay. Ah, your man doesn't need a tuk-tuk. He's got two strong legs. Right, if you enjoyed coming with me on this wee railway hike, please do give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you on the next video.